welcome back. In today's video, I'm going over how to make milestone cards. These are really great if you have kids or if you have a friend that's getting ready to have a baby. It's also something really great that you can sell at craft shows or on your Etsy account. So I have already started my document and put in my pattern. My document size is four inches by four inches. And I did that so that when you print it, you can get four on one standard piece of letter paper. And you can always play around with that size. I've seen some that are like four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And that's actually something really easy to get done at a printer. If you're unsure of how to get your pattern in to your document, I will leave a link. You should see it up at the very top in the right hand corner and it will go over how to use the fill tool to get your pattern in there. And obviously for if you do the milestone cards for the months, you can obviously do different backgrounds or you can keep it exactly the same. I am just going to grab the ellipse tool, holding shift so that it stays a circle. And then I'm going to go up to the align panel and align this center in the document. Grab the color picker, and I think I'm going to try the navy color. I did really like the navy, but I'm actually going to do white because I feel like it's a really good gender neutral design this way. And I also want to try a stroke. If you click the stroke, option. It's really easy to adjust that stroke and I want something pretty thick. I think the 12 point looks great. And the very last thing you need to do is just add in some text and then just adjust it to the font of your choice. Okay, so once you have your text in, all you need to do is to export, file, export. If you are printing with a printer, I would recommend PDF and just make sure that it remains 300 DPI. If you're printing this at home, once again, you can do it as PDF or you can do it as JPEG or PNG. Those are the ones that I would recommend the most. And if you are printing, like I had suggested for on a page, all you need to do is to create a new document and the size of the page you want to print. For example, the eight and a half by 11 is the standard letter size. And then just drop in your four designs and print away and cut. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.